I'm going to show you how you can hit 1,000 visitors per day in a single year on your niche website. Hey everyone, my name is Kevin Smack and I've been running websites for about five years off and on. After a lot of trial and error, I found out that there are some simple steps that anyone can take to get those coveted 1,000 visitors per day. Hopefully this will work for your niche website. First, let's show you my 1,000 visitor day. Here we go. On July 11th, we finally crossed the threshold of 1,000 visitors in one day. Now that's not page views. The page views was over 1,540, I believe. This is just the amount of users. The day before was 960, and we probably average around seven or 800, but slowly it's starting to get up there and move up a little more and more. It was flying up for a while, but it's definitely slowed down some, but we are up there and we're cruising at a thousand users is amazing. So how'd I get here? Well, through my failures and my successes, I've noticed one thing. One of the hardest parts is niche selection. This can make or break a site. Hopefully you selected a good niche. If you did, what I recommend is first getting keywords. I went through keywordcare.com. This is Carl's service. This is not an affiliate. I'm just telling you in the beginning of a site, it's good to latch on here. I do the booster plan and I order one to three of these before I go off on my own. This will give me enough information and he's really good at identifying those really good keywords to get you going. Now keep in mind, these do sell out pretty fast. So if you want to get them. I know there's only a few more left, so you're going to want to jump in there. But again, not an affiliate, just giving credit where credit's due. That's where it goes. So why buy keywords? Well, you're going to be spending a lot of money and time on those keywords. Why not make sure they work really well? Now, if you're really good at SEO and everything, great, go for it. If you're questioning it, then I would order this. Order it, see what they get, and go from there. A lot of times once you get going and you have, you know, 50 or 75 of these articles written, you can then use tools like Ahrefs and find your competitors and see what keywords they're ranking in that you're not. And at that point, you can kind of take those and go from there. But it is really good to use in the beginning of a site. So once you have the keywords, then you want to start writing the articles. Here's an example of a article I've written with Jarvis on can I use a 10 seconds of a copyrighted song? And you're gonna see here what I do in the beginning is right away hit him with a snippet that's 60 words or less. I like to get 57 is usually like where I go for, but that's how I hit it. And then a quick intro, and then I get right into the topic and get into it. Not much fluff, not at all. And then talk more about stuff. You also notice every so often you'll see a bolded line. That's just to keep the user viewing. If everything is just all normal, it doesn't hit it home as well and they'll skim more. But if you bold something once in a while, it'll stop and make them go to the next area. Basically makes their eyes go keep going. Now this look may look really spaced out, but this is perfect for mobile. I do two sentences at the most. And it's also really good because then ads can go before and above this. This site's not currently on ads because this is a little bit of a different project than usual, but that's how it would go. And then continue that, you know, use your H2s, use H3s and H2, and then wrap up with a conclusion. And in the conclusion, make sure you're linking to something else. What should they do next? Go ahead and do that. Now, articles aren't always easy to write. So what I usually say is, especially if you're new, how I did it was I outsourced them. It took me a while to find the right writers. I have an amazing writer and he only writes. That's all he does. That's his full-time job. If you're interested, I have another website, requestwriter.com that I've created. And if you're a writer or you're looking for content, you can sign up on here. Just scroll down and you need a task done, sign up here. Or if you're a writer and you're interested, sign up here. If you're interested in writing, just go ahead and send me some samples at support at requestwriter.com and we can start a conversation and get you verified. So if you go down more, you'll see Babu here. He is set up as pro and he has been getting a good amount of 
orders in. So he has been doing them since we've started the site. He actually has had a lot more than four orders. It's just not everyone leaves a review. But so far, everyone's happy and people have been coming back more and more. The great price as well, eleven fifty for 500 words. So that is my writer that you can use through requestwriter.com. And the turnaround is usually two days, but this video may spike up the content. So if that's the case, you may need to give it another day or so. Just because, you know, when this video is released, a lot of people might go through him. If you're not sure how to set up the content, just say, please write content like Kevin Smacks. He'll know what you mean. And he'll do the snippet in the beginning just for you and everything. Joseph is also part of his team and he is more in essay writing. So if you're looking for educational writing, that is where you would go and anything along that line. When ordering, you'll just choose buy now. And when you're in the final screen, it'll say quantity. You can change the quantity depending on how many words you want. If you want a thousand words, change the quantity to 1000. And then in the notes, make sure you go ahead and just choose what information you would like, your topic and everything like that. Any questions or any more information you need, just go ahead and shoot him a message and it'll be fine. And as I mentioned, it's usually two days, but sometimes it can be a little longer just if we're having a push like this. Thank you everyone who has tried them out and has left a review. Appreciate it. Finally, the next portion is going to be more on interlinking your content. It is not as big as getting backlinks, but interlinking really helps pull everything together. It's great to have a major subject and branch off into a bunch of things and have one article on the major subject and fill in the links on the other areas as you go. I have a complete video on interlinking, so I don't want to go over it again, but I will go ahead and point to you at the end of this video. If you have any questions, please leave them down below. I'll be glad to answer them. And I hope this was very informative. I know this is a shorter video than usual, but this is pretty much the main three things you need. Great keywords, the perfect written article, and interlinking your content. Those three things are going to surge up your views as you go, as long as you are in the right niche. Start with keywords care, get your keywords to make sure you're doing them correctly. And then request writer can fill your content needs. Thanks so much for the view.